So hey guys, you know what it is. It's your girl Miss Motivation coming at you with another video, baby. Are you tired of seeing me yet? No, I know. But anyway, you know what we are about to do is um, getting ready to be one of them things. So, but before we get into it, I want you to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell on the side for notifications so that you can get every video I put up and out. Um, also, make sure you leave a comment, share this video, repost it, let somebody know about my channel. Um, thank all of my subscribers, the ones that are old, the ones that are new. I appreciate you guys. You guys are what really motivate me, even though I know a lot of you say that I motivate you and um and i appreciate that that's i want to be an inspiration i want to be that void in your life that has been filled with you know somebody i don't want you to feel like you're clueless on this journey like you know you don't have anybody i'm here i went through that when i was on my journey actually before my journey i'm sorry uh when i was 236 pounds and I just felt like I didn't know where to go. I wasn't educated. I didn't know who to turn to, you know, because a lot of people were content with who they were. I was not. And undercover, I was very insecure and I hid behind different things, you know, clothing, jackets, hair, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. I did not have self-love. I didn't know anything about self-love. I have all of those things now, baby. I don't care what you think, how you feel what people say how they feel about me yes i am fabulously thick but i feel good about who i am and where i've come from i am not the girl that i used to be i still have problems here i still have problems there who don't i you know but i feel good about me you know i'm not your beauty queen i ain't got one no awards for beauty but Self-love is something that can't be given and something that you can't even put a price on. When you love yourself, then other people learn how to love you. You, you set a standard for people to, to, to learn how to love you and you hold up to that standard. So that's basically what my channel is about. Self-love, motivation, determination, inspiration, all of those things. So instead of the preaching, I like the teaching. <laughs> And, you know, God ain't called me to be nobody's preacher or nothing like that. But I love to share. I love, and, and I take that very seriously. You know, you just don't never know why somebody has entered into your life. You don't know why, because you don't know. You just, a person's testimony of what they went through a lot of times is the reason why you run into or you meet other people. And... That's why I help people because I come from a place where there wasn't any help for really what I wanted to do or what I needed to do for myself. And that was, I had to learn how to take care of me. And we have to learn that this is priority over all things. It's not being selfish, it's just loving yourself. And your health should be a priority. You take care of everything else, everybody else, you gotta take care of yourself in order to be able to take care of other people. So it has to be a priority, all right? So before we um, get into all that stuff, because we ain't going to get into all that, but let's get into the video. What the video is about today is I'm just showing you how to prepare your celery, baby, for your celery challenge. Those of you that wasn't here yesterday, you need to go look at the video from yesterday and uh, really just check it out. If you've been wanting to do the celery challenge and uh, you've been thinking about it, you've seen it all over the internet, YouTube. And you was like, I want to do it, but I just don't know. Well, guess what? I'm here. I'm here to help you. I'm here to show you some stuff, show you the ropes. And I'm putting the camera over here so we can get down and busy. I'm showing you how to prepare your celery. And what I'm going to do is prepare this ahead of time for later on tonight when I do second day challenge. Okay? Love you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. So all you need really is your celery. You need a bowl with a lid. You need um, vinegar. Don't get it on your clothes. You don't want to be smelling. I do a little bit over a, a lid full because what I'm going to do, 
I'm gonna make sure I fill this bowl up with plenty of water to cover, and it stinks, uh, but to cover my celery, okay? Now you can save this to cook with, to use, to do whatever. I did last night, let me show you this. If they didn't move it. Oh, look, I was getting ready to get attitude. <laughs> so this is the celery from last night. This is what was left over. I don't know if you've ever made um, like season in a jar, but you can definitely use that. You can season your food with that. You can hook it up. Put some uh, olive oil in there, some other seasonings and spices, grind you up some green pepper, red pepper, um, whatever, and you can, and maybe I'll show you a video on that next, okay? Because I have done something like that, and a lot of people do it. But anyway, so if you don't want to deal with what is at the end of your cellar, you see that? Oh, hold on. See that? That dirt? Gross, okay? That's why you use vinegar. And let me put some water in here because this stuff is thick. Driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. That's, that was horrible. <laughs> but anyway, so those that have not seen my video ain't even seen me in a couple of days. Y'all wondering about my hair? I was, let me tell you. Y'all, you don't know a lot of my business, but it's been some things that have been going on. Stressed out. And so yesterday I had to go get my hair cut. I got four inches cut off. And not because I wanted to, but because I had to. Because I have been stressed to the point. When you have kids, it's easy. You know, people can tell you all day long, oh, just let it go. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about that. But when it's your babies, your kids, I don't care if they're 34, 24, 14, you always, as a mother, not saying, not, not, and father, but as a mother, there is just a common ground that just, it's not easy for you to not worry. And if you are those type of parents that you don't, more power to you. But I carried a child for nine months, had a bond with a baby I didn't see before those nine months. And I learned that I would give my life for mine and it's very important to me you know I gave up a life to have mine you know the club scenery uh, the drinking and the smoking and you know yeah I didn't smoke some weed before in my life you know I haven't been everything hasn't been perfect in my life okay I've done picked up a drink um, you know, in my life. In my younger days as a teen, yeah. I mean, I could have, I thank God that those were all the only things that I've done because I could have got in more. And with the way drugs are today, I could have been one of them people that is on drugs. And I thank God that, you know, I'm not. But I thank God that all the childish stuff I was able to put away and grow up as a mother because I was a young mother. And I finished school. I went to school after school and school after that school. And, you know, and I strive every day to be better than the day before or yesterday. So I had some stress. I went through all that just to tell you I had stress because of my kids. They wore me out. Not not the ones in the house, but the ones out of the house. The one that people probably say, girl, you shouldn't worry about them. They out of the house. They grown. Let them do whatever. Yeah, it's easy for you to say. But it's hard for me to do. So that's some of my problem. You know, just stressing kids, stress, and, you know, thanking God that, um, it just has not been overly rough. But, um, so I got my hair cut, didn't want to. 
was mad at myself. I went, I told him, I said, if you can save the link, save the link and just, uh, the link and just, um, uh, give me some layers, you know. And um, so she gave me some layers. I went home, uh, flat on my hair because I went in there wet after I washed it, you know. And then um, I let somebody cut it. And she did, you know, a great job. But um, I knew I probably should have straightened my hair because I have, like, wavy hair. And you can't always get it the way it's supposed to be. Um, as straight, you know, even cut if you're not used to my type of hair. So, um, I had to go back and let them cut it again. I was like, just cut it off. I don't, don't try to save it because it looked, still looked a hot mess. And the reason why I was getting it cut, because it was a hot mess. I was having to wear it up curly in a ponytail, you know, natural looking, or, or keep rolling it. And I roll my hair because it really helps my hair to grow. And I love full hair. I have thin hair. I don't have to get a relaxer or nothing in my hair for it to look like it does, you know. But um, this is just the way it's been, you know. So, not saying I ain't never had one, because I have. And, um, but, you know, uh, our hair is our pride, women. If my hair ain't right, I just don't feel right. It's just like today. We're supposed to be, you know, hanging out with the kids. I'm, I like to look a little bit more, you know, dressed up or whatever especially and this hair does not make me feel you know i don't know it just you know how it is you know how women are or how us women are we just picky we like it our way we want it to look right we want to feel good and that's just how i like it <laughs> and i just feel like this is a flat mess i'm used to some some volume and i don't have that so basically what you see me do, because I done been all up into the hair biz, is cut my celery. So right now, the celery is relaxing in this bed, this bed, in this tub of water with vinegar. Now the vinegar is going to help clean your veggies. You should use it on your veggies, your fruit, whatever. I mean, this is very important. You are taking this in. There could be bugs, parasites, anything, you know, organic or regular. I don't care what they say. <clears throat> uh, Non-pasteurized, this, that, blah, blah, blah. I don't trust it. I still have to take care of me. I'm putting this in my body. So I'm taking my vinegar and I am going to make sure that my fruit or veggies are clean. I have to. I'm taking this in. This is my body. I got to care about me first because everybody ain't going to care. Some people just care about that dollar. And, um, you know, just how it is. And I'm going to tell you something. Looking at the celery from when you cut this off of the stalk, this part is normally really dirty. This setting in here in the vinegar, then got it clean. I mean, but you still going to have to do an extra rinse. This is, and this is for... I made two cups last night off of one celery stalk. I was thinking maybe what I could have done is do one eight ounce glass, but um, I think what they're doing is doing the whole stalk and they're doing the, um, and they're drinking everything that came off the, just the one, you know. Um, of course, after this is done, you know, when it's ready tonight, later on, I do add a little bit of water. If you did not see it the last video, go back and look at that video. Look at the first video. Look at how beautifully green the celery juice was looking. I called it the hawk. It looked good, okay? Uh, was it bad? No. It was not a salty taste. I don't know why. Uh, maybe our, just, our celery grows and comes from different places. Okay, I'm, which I'm sure it does, but I'm just saying. 
Um, and but a lot of people's videos that I watched because I did my research on this, um, they talked about it was salty, and I'm just thinking like, why in the world do I want to drink something that's just really salty? But it wasn't. When I tasted it yesterday, yes, I was nervous. Yes, I was like, Ugh, I don't know if you know if I'm gonna like it. I love celery, but honey, to drink the juice of celery. It was a challenge because it's an earthy taste, very earthy, um, and it's supposed to be, it's good for you. It's good for gut health, digestion, alkalining, uh, glycemic, um, all of those things. You have to look it up or go back and look at my, um, look at my other video and basically I kind of break it down and tell you it's not going to be all in one walk. It's through the video because I'm talking to you and preparing my stuff. You know how I do and I and I talk. I get off the subject I'll start talking about life stuff and because this is basically this is what my channel is about. Overall health. Whether it be with your mind because stress is the key factor. One of the key factors that can cause your health to go down. So I'm definitely going to talk to you about that. I don't really have to get into my business and tell you, you know, what exactly is going on with my daughter, but just letting you know that has been um, a factor that has played a big role in my health and where it has taken so that it's taken my hair out, you know, little by little. Uh, stress will do that to you. That's why you have to stay focused and sometimes things will come in your life that will take you off or out of focus but you have to get back on it pray ask god lord just just help me you know and he will you know sometimes it's not in our timing sometimes we go through these things just to see for god to let us see other things and you know i i, I thank god for every experience everything that i've went through in my life everything and um not all of it I've liked, no. Uh, it's not been all peaches and rainbows and, you know, nothing like that. Uh, but it hasn't all been bad either. And I thank God for that. Um, so, yeah. Y'all know me. Y'all know how I do. But, you know, those that love me, I love you. You stick around with me evidently because, you know, I've been put in your life for a reason and you see something. And then people that will get off this channel, they don't need this kind of talk. They don't need whatever I'm putting out. So they'll delete, you know, and that's okay. You know, I want people to be here that want to be here, that really feel like, you know, I really genuinely love this channel because on this channel, you are genuinely going to get me. I'm not going to put on, I'm not going to, you know, it's not going to always be perfect. It never was from the start. So it, it'll never finish perfectly. And um, you're always just going to get full-fledged me. That's that's it. And that's what I want. That's what, when I meet a person, when I, I want to be able to be myself and I want you to be yourself. People I deal with in real life, I have one, two, several, a small amount of good people people, good friends that I, that I don't even really call them friends. They're like family that I keep in my life. And I only deal with positive people because I don't need negative. There's so many negative things that you can go through in life. Why add another negative element to your life? Keep positive. You stay positive. You keep positive. You think positive. You keep positive. You do positive. You know what I'm saying? It just all adds together. It's like a connection, you know. And that is my focus. You know, when I was younger, it wasn't like that. I was trying, I was still learning me. And I was dealing with different people, negative, positive. They set off different energies. And I took on that energy. And that's the one thing that I don't want to do in my older life. I don't have time for that. I went through that. You know what I'm saying? So, 
and I want better health for myself. I don't want to be on medication. I don't want to have to depend on that for the rest of my life. I don't want to, um, it's just a few things. You know, I don't want to live negatively, wake up headaches and burdens and, and, and thinking about this and thinking about that. Yeah, you got good friends and sometimes good friends don't always bring positive to the table. Just like me, if I reached out to one of my friends and I'm telling them about, you know, my situation with my daughter, it's not always going to be positive, but we try to keep it positive. And because my friends know that I am a positive person, then they're gonna come back with, girl, you know what? Anytime you need to talk to me, you can come talk to me. Because I already, you know, I know if you reaching out to me with this, I know that it's bothering you, it's weighing you down. I'll never turn a friend away that wants to talk. You know what I'm saying? That that needs to talk because that's what we are here for. And to motivate one another, inspire one another, whether it be on my channel, I feel like this in real life. You know what I'm saying? So it makes it means a lot to me. And I hope that my channel means a lot to you guys. I don't want to get too much into that. You know, somebody ain't really trying to hear that, feel that today, and that's okay. You know, basically this channel was supposed to be about getting your salary together. Get your celery together, get your health together, get your mind together, and get it all together. It, it, it all chimes into one. <laughs> now, somebody may not like it. Girl, get to the subject and hurry up and get off here. I don't got time to be sitting here listening to you. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Oh, check out my check out my wear, honey. Let me let me show y'all a little bit. My little pants. I got. I love them. Look at my. I love them. Y'all see this physique? I had to show y'all because you know it's not the chat the the camera don't always give a good ain't, ain't no girdle. Y'all see a little bit of fat gram sticking out right there, but it ain't like it used to be. Look at that. It ain't like it used to be. So I have a whole lot to be besides you know not saying that this is the only thing I have to be thankful for. I have a whole lot to be thankful for, but when I look back over my life look back over my life in my younger days if you look at pictures of me from younger to now my skin is better my complexion my mind my body more fit it's not perfect i still got flaws i still got a belly you know it ain't all went down now let me hold it in because i know y'all was like she's holding it in i wasn't you know, I still battle with the arms, a little bit of back fat, but I'm well proportioned compared to what I used to be. You know what I'm saying? So it means a lot to me. And I want to help somebody else get there. You know, we're not all going to look like supermodels and stick figures. I don't want to ever look like a stick figure. I want to be thick. Fabulous. Le plum. I don't have to be, but in proportion, well proportioned. You know what I'm saying? Well proportioned. Beauty comes in all sizes. Love yourself. And make sure that when you have somebody and they connect into your circle, make sure they love you too. Don't get somebody else in your circle that's always putting you down. Make sure that if they are putting something down, they are uplifting you with the good. You know, let's go to the gym, sis. Let's go hang out. Little bro, you want to go work out? Not only do you help them, but they help you. Because it's like a team thing. You know what I'm saying? So, just wanted to talk to y'all today. That's why I made this extra video. Um, I know I did a little bit of talking while I was on the road, driving, letting y'all know what I was going to do later on tonight. I feel like you deserve that. And, um... And I just wanted to show off these little curves, you know, let y'all see a little bit what this motivation got going on. You know what I'm saying? A little curvation. <laughs> and then I'll let y'all know about something else I've been thinking about too, but I'm going to get it done first. I'm going to show it off and then I'm going to let you know what I'm going to do so you can get it too. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.